I'm Gabe Jewell, and this is Comic Smack, your weekly, daily, all the time, anytime comic book show where I give you your fix of everything you need to know from the world of comic books and superheroes. And on today's show, we're taking a closer look at the amazing Spider Man issue number 20. Dr. Octopus has been brought back to life seemingly by the Jackal, and now Peter Parker is in his clutches. What'll happen next? Let's hop on in together and find out, shall we? All right, then. So this comic actually picks up where Clone Conspiracy issue number one left off, so here's really hoping you read that. As we join the comic, Spider Man is at the mercy of the newly reanimated Dr. Octopus. But how did we get here? Well, that's what the comic pretty much means to tell us. You see, from here we flash back to Dr. Octopus's mind inside the Octobot that escaped at the end of the previous issue when Spider-Man fought the living brain. You see, Doc Ock had gone to the graveyard with plans of harvesting some genetic material from his corpse so he could have a body once again so he could again attempt to steal Peter Parker's body and become the superior Spider-Man once again. Only when Ock got got there, he discovered that his corpse was already missing. In fact, many of these supervillain corpses from this graveyard were missing. So, I mean, it's pretty obvious the Jackal and New You took them, right? No, no, it was a third party that dealt in black market biomaterial that took his body. Which means Otto has to go all Lawnmower Man and jack himself into the internet so he could set up a buy between the New You Corporation and the guy selling his corpse? Well, geez, that seems needlessly roundabout. Why couldn't have New you just had the body already. Long story short, the Jackal gets the body and is about ready to start a new clone, but here's the thing though, Otto knows that when that body died, Peter Parker's consciousness was still technically inside it. And because the Jackal's new reanimations make use of genetic memory, Otto fears that if this body is to be reanimated, it will be with Peter Parker's mind in control and not his own. So once again, with the help of the super nimble Octobot, Dr. Octopus manages to jump in inside the brain of this clone before it finishes and gets into a big psychic duel with Peter Parker's mind. Ock ends up winning the day and vanquishing Peter's consciousness from the body, and his reward is, well, a brand new clone body, which looks exactly like his old body. Hey, Jackal, while you're doing all this upkeeping and getting rid of genetic disorders and everything, you think you might have used this chance to do some, I don't know, some slick redesigning, maybe? Jackal attempts to give Dr. Octopus the same pitch that he gave everyone else, and that is, hey, you got to take these pills if you want your clone body to work. Ock's response to this is actually pretty priceless, and that is, Jackal, you're stupid, your clone bodies are stupid, and this pill thing is stupid, but you know what? I'm so smart and so brilliant, I bet I could perfect your cloning process. And, uh, oh yeah, kill that damn wall crawler at the same time, right? I mean, that's just icing on the old cake, isn't it, as the comic ends? The Amazing Spider-Man number 20 was an odd little issue. It picks up from where Clone Conspiracy left off, and yet it doesn't actually move move the event story forward, in fact it actually doubles back and just gives you the specifics of how Dr. Octopus got into this new clone body. And I mean, was really any of this a story that needed telling? I mean, I guess there is an element of tragedy that Auk only had enough power to put his consciousness in the clone body and in doing so he had to kill the Anne-Marie AI that's been his friend this whole time, but I mean that's really it. Also, Doc Ock just being a straight up bad guy again feels like a super missed opportunity here. I mean, I know this is comic books and the status quo is almost always returned to, but at the same time, you know, Superior Spider-Man was so fresh, so new, and so interesting, and I think a lot of fans still have a certain affinity for it. Wouldn't it have been cool if he got his body back and actively tried to fight against the Jackal's control? I mean, I guess they could always do that down the line, but still, as it stands right now, I don't know how to feel about this. Overall, I'd give this one a 6.5 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my newest video. I hope you enjoyed it, and while you're here, why not check out another video I have on offer? Or maybe if you're feeling in a supportive mood, you want to like or subscribe. And if you want to support the creation of more videos just like this one, then please, by all means, check out the Cape Joel Patreon. A little bit goes a very long way, and I will see you all next time.